This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with the Phantasm Spiral Dino deck yet again, because Jesus Christ, man, why not? Uh, I did not open with the Field Spell, but I do have Heat Wave, which I can use to some degree. Um, now, I'm just going to Normal Summon this and pass? Yeah, that's literally the best play this deck has right now, is Normal Summon Pass. I don't have the Field Spell. Um, I feel like this deck and any form of the... Uh, any form of the Phantasm Spiral like decks in the future have to, um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna ash the smoke signal, definitely. I mean, he's under Heat Wave, so I don't really care. He can't Normal Summon, so he's playing all these cards for literally no effect. Um, but, uh, he can't Normal Summon or Special Summon effect monsters. He can only set them, so he's setting a monster. That's probably something like Kagamusha, so I'm playing against Six Samurai. Um, and the thing is, okay, I shouldn't be playing against the new Shadow Six Samurai cards, because those are still beta cards. Um, so there's that to consider, but we're gonna bank on this not being like a mirror force card and These are both gonna activate if that's the case because this will inflict damage and this will destroy monster in battle um, So we'll activate both of these um, And then we'll get both of the phantasm spirals out of deck and attack with both of them <laughs> Oh shit, is this just game? Okay Thank God. I was like, thank God, <laughs> this isn't just game. <laughs> oh, God. All right, that would have been a problem if that was uh, if that was just game straight out of the out of the gate. I think I want to make this, but I also don't want these to fall off and go away because they're the only thing keeping me in the game right now. I'm actually super hype about what's going on right now. I've got Quaking Mirror Force, so he shouldn't be able to attack over anything um, unless he's making Shein. Kagamusha, so he's getting a counter there, counter there. I think he, unless he has something like keys on, okay, he's got the keys on. Um, he can pop this draw two, he can pop this summon another one from deck, uh, another level two. Oh, he's got another Sheehan's Dojo, okay. Uh, but the thing is that unless he got a level three to use, um, there's nothing that he's going to be able to do to deal with these. Um, he can synchro into what? Oh, Nutria Barkeon. Okay, well the Barkeon isn't going to really do anything because I can just attack over it next turn with one of these. Um, I'm not going to waste the Quaking Mirror Force, there's no reason to. It's a Barkeon. Um... So there's no reason for me to do any of that, uh, but I do get to just attack this next turn, and this is uh, when it uh, inflicts battle damage to your opponent, it summons one from deck, or grave, so I can summon one of those back. So and whether or not he has a trap to set to stop me is going to be whether or not he wins or loses the game. Now whether this trap is something, okay, he's just... <laughs> I really don't want to keep this because it's so short, but at the same time it's so savage. Um... It's so savage, and I'm in such a hurry. I'm in such a hurry, you don't understand. Oh my god, I'm in such a hurry. ARG Atlanta is in literally 10 hours, and I need to make videos for tomorrow. I need to go to my friend's house, get cards, play tests, do all this bullshit so I can play my Perfora Pal deck at ARG Atlanta and do hopefully do well, because I want to do well and top an event and win money and do all that sort of stuff. So hopefully things go well on that front, but this is literally like a two and a half minute long game. Uh, because he just got literally blown out by Heat Wave. Heat Wave is a really good card, I hear. It lets people not play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Dimensional Barrier times a thousand, because it says your opponent can't summon any monsters. Whoa! But anyway, this game was kind of savage in terms of just the, uh, the equip spells both stacking up after he set his monster. It basically, like, set up into a perfect situation. Only thing that would have made it better is if I had access to the field spell, because then I would have been getting more cards, all that sort of stuff. I think set rotation definitely needs to go in this deck. Not sure why it's not here. Um, to be completely honest with you, that is definitely a change that's probably going to happen to this list, and it might be in the Paleo build as well. I don't know. It depends on how Room looks for that, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Sorry this was a quick and short one, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it nonetheless because of the fact that it is just really savage in terms of how things just went so far in my favor and so against my opponent in this one. Like, if he didn't have Lost Wind, he was losing that one turn. Absolutely insane. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. 
and all that sort of nonsense. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly, get access into insider, you know, information, and uh, be able to vote on what stuff goes up at what time, and if you want to get into the private Discord server where you can chat with me and a bunch of other good, well-minded people uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and get help for decks, get, you know, information, just chat, stuff like that, then definitely check out the Patreon page. That's definitely what you want to be looking into for the reward tiers. Even $1 a day opens you up to the Patreon feed, which lets you have access into voting on what order videos that I'm going to be putting up go up in so all that sort of stuff is something that you can get access to a little bit of you know control into how the channel runs and all that sort of stuff and then the five dollar reward tier opens up the discord server to you if you are looking for people to chat with and you want to chat with me and all that other sort of stuff so if you're interested in any of those things then definitely check out the patreon page it would support the channel a lot it would help me out a ton you'd have my eternal gratitude and you get some you know new like you know, cool little neat things out of it but other than that as always, like this video if you want to see more content like this and you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, all that sort of nonsense. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to welcome you on board to the channel's community. If you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content, that's the best thing for you to do. If you're already subscribed, click that little bell notification button if you want to enter the notification squad and you want to get notified whenever I put an upload up and not miss a thing if you enjoy the content I produce. That's definitely what you want to do so that you do not miss a thing. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Sorry for the short video again. Sorry for the really long outros, but I really just have a lot to say when I close out videos it's really like closing out my thought process and stuff like that so sorry about that but thanks for your time as usual guys and take care i'll see you in the next video wish me luck at ycs atlanta hopefully i'm still in the tournament by the time this video goes up